G'day mate, welcome back to Captain Industry with me, Jenny. Today, today is, um, it, it, it's a day about smelting. All about smelting. We're going to be rebuilding smelters today. We have a few that we need to rebuild because I need to get the new production center up and running. But as always, I need to thank you guys and thank you guys for all the wonderful things you guys are doing for the channel. Click and like on the videos. You're watching the videos. You're enjoying the videos. Same time you click the subscribe button and a few wonderful members out there. A few wonderful members out there also going that extra mile above and beyond they're clicking the join button they're becoming a member of the channel they're choosing to support the channel and uh i need to thank i'm gonna go with wvm i'm assuming it's pronounced wvm but maybe it's pronounced with them with them with them thank you for becoming a youtube member thank you for throwing at least a dollar towards the channel every month and support the channel keeping it ad free so we have a few things we need to talk about. First off, food, sorted. Housing, sorted. Have room for like 200 people, 300 people, 300 people. Uh, diesel, not sorted. Uh, diesel tank is empty. Why is the diesel tank empty? Because I can't actually get diesel fast enough. We can process it fast enough. We just can't bring it in fast enough. The tanks be empty. So we do have the main ship, the main ship that still has 6,000 barrels on there. And the little truckies are bringing in some barrels here, dumping it here, it pumps in the system, and it comes in through this gate, out oh, through this pipe balancer, only when the main ship is away. The main ship is currently away. It is currently going and getting oil. The problem is, by the time it's got all the oil, and then come all the way back, it needs to go get oil again, and there's not enough oil there. So we're going to deliver 400 tier 3 construction parts and get that upgraded another level. At the same time, it's not unloading fast enough. So we're going to spend some of our precious parts upgrading all these modules to uh, to cargo module medium, which is... Oh, first off, it goes from carrying 220 up to 400. Uh, 440, so twice as much. It also unloads cargo 50% faster. So it carries twice as much, unloads twice as fast. Therefore, we can empty the ship faster and we can send the ship off. Catch is, like I said, we need to you know upgrade this so we're gonna upgrade this to the next tier once upgraded to the next tier in theory everything shall be fine hopefully hopefully uh we are gonna have to put more uni and more people to work but hopefully we're okay at least for the next 543 years but with big trucks comes big diesel at the same time whilst the boat is out and about we're going to send it to battle score of 180 I think we can beat that uh we're gonna send that to there because that looks like a prize i don't know what the prize is but we're gonna send the boat off that's that's pretty much where we're at. Um, I did upgrade this pipe to tier 3, which means it moves 450, because technically oil does 216 per, per minute, and the pipe only did 200. So it can now run absolutely flat out. Uh, same time, I'm going to turn you off, because you're going to get full in a minute, and then you're going to complain all the time you're full, which is going to be really annoying. All right, so today, today we have this built, and I have two problems. One, I need to rebuild the smelters, okay? My, I don't need to, but I choose to. I choose to rebuild the smelters. I need to rebuild a steel smelter. I need to rebuild an iron smelter. Uh, at the same time, I need to plug everything in here. The other major catch is uh, we're going to be using new smelters, which cost 180 parts per furnace compared to 60 tier ones. Also, the we'll, we'll talk about steel. Uh, the cool casters cost 40 compared to 30 of tier 2. Uh, the metal casters cost 40 tier 2. That's not so bad compared to 30 tier 1. Uh, they cost 70 tier 3 compared to 60 tier 2. So we're about to go through a lot of parts. So I might have to turn the build on to get the parts, to build the parts, to turn the build on, to build the part, to build the build. Yeah, okay. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to copy the existing steel because at the end of the day, there's actually nothing wrong with it. Okay, we could do an upgrade in place, but at the end of the day, I sort of need to rebuild the things anyway. So we're going to choose to rebuild things anyway. Terrain too low. Oh, there we go. I pressed the wrong button. Uh, now, I do have this attached to a water thing. Uh, the good news is we have water right here. So that shouldn't affect us. Now, ooh, so many things we need to do. All right, first thing's this. We're going to start at this end. I'm going to work our way backward. So, all... Those pipes need to go, go away. That has to go away. We're going to take this air separator and we're going to flip it so it's facing further away. Okay. Uh, when I press the right buttons, flip it so it's further away. Okay. We're going to remove the two storage boxes. Also remove the pipe in the middle uh, and that pipe. All right. We're going to start with storage. 
I want a big boy storage. Okay, we're now a big boy. It's time for a big boy storage. Uh, I need to plug that belt into there instead. All right, next up, pipes. Um, we still need to bring the nitrogen out. And then I need to bring the, whoop, this nitrogen pipe all the way over to there. Uh, okay, what did we find? We found sugarcane seeds. Well, that solves that problem. We also found a coal mine, a friends, and a battle score of 430. We can't blow that up. All right, so we're still going to have to deal with the nitrogen. The nitrogen we don't need. Uh, we do need a little bit of it, but not a lot. So we still need that pipe balancer. We're also going to need to put over here the chem plant that is part of the original build that got axed in uh, our retrofit because just where it sat, it didn't work for me. Uh, it was better for us to drag it down the hill and do it at the same spot as a whole bunch of other things. I'm going to pop you in there. I'm going to put you in here. And then I need to put a smokestack in here. Actually, two smokestacks because you're going to output 36 and 36 and potentially I need to get rid of all of it. So we need to build a smokestack. Yeah, I, I, I mean build a smokestack. Bear with me. Uh, okay, so to build a smokestack, I'm going to remove that pipe. I'm going to go into here and we're going to get a smokestack and I'm going to jam that on there. Then I'm going to remove that one and I'm going to build a smokestack and put that on there. Then I'm going to remove that pipe because the pipe only moves 60 and I need to move more than 60. So we're going to put a 200 pipe on there. We're going to cut that out and I'm going to shove that. So you need to move over it all. I'm going to put that in there. Okay. Ooh, problem solved. Uh, come on, cut. Wrong. Fine. Cut pipe over pipe. Cut tank over tank. Uh, cut you outright and plug that in. Come on. In there instead. All right. Uh, also want a belt from here to ink pot port at start. Oh, that's backward. Yeah, yeah, that would have been bad. It's still bad. It's even worse. I need to fix that belt. Cool. Done. All right. So that's the front end rebuilt. All right. Then we need to talk about these guys. This is the cool caster. Uh, we get an upgraded, upgraded version. It is a cool caster Mark II. Cool caster Mark II. Uh, rather than taking 12, 6 and outputting 12, it now takes in 24, 12, and outputs 24. So twice as much. The catch is it needs twice as much water. We do have a little water source here pumping out 48 water. So the water's pretty much sorted. So that should be okay. We need to copy that, put that there, copy that, Oop. flip it, and put that there. Okay, so that's a straight upgrade. Then we have the oxygen furnace. The tier 1 brings in 24, 18, outputs 12 and 24. The tier 2 does 48, 18, 24, and 36. So a little bit more exhaust, twice as much uh, iron in, twice as much steel in, same amount of oxygen, thankfully. Otherwise, I'd have to put in four of these, which would be a nightmare. Uh, so we're going to remove you. We have oxygen on the left. Yep. And remove those. So I need to copy that one, put it on that side, copy, flip. Put that that side and put that side. Now, the other thing is uh, you output 36 exhaust. 36 exhaust and 36 exhaust is more than our little smokestacks can support when they do 60. So those smokestacks need to go. They are useless. Okay, I need to do you. You have nothing to dig, which means we've made it to the next plateau, which is great. Edit area right there. Also set up a dumping route to this tower which we are going to uh, start flat, ramp up, and see whether I can get it there in a single bound. Uh, start flat. Yes. How much material are we digging up? A fair bit, actually. Can I come out one more time? Technically, yes. Air area. Okay. Uh, hopefully that doesn't implode from soil landing in front of it. 
All right, we're going to try to have the digging from the first tower. Mine. Digging from the first tower. Build up enough of a platform that we can get up to here with on the, on the second tower. All right. Uh, so did I re-aim that? I did re-aim that. So that's going to bring those guys across. Means I need unpause harvesty guy sitting with a truck. And we're going to set you to do nothing on this level. But everything on this level. Uh, at the same time, we're going to give you two storages. Uh, boop. And boop. We're going to set you to be wood. Uh, copy, paste. Except you are going to be trained right the way down with a priority 15. All right, that's that done. So hopefully they'll dig this, they'll dump the material over there that'll get up most of the way up to that level and then we should be good to go. And oh my god, the frame weight. Do not zoom out that far, JD. All right, back to this problem. So uh, we've upgraded those. We do have a problem of our exhaust. We have too much exhaust for one smokestack. We're going to come back to the exhaust. Just back of your mind, just remember there's going to be an exhaust problem, okay? Blast furnace. <clears throat> It brings in 24 plus 9, outputs 24 plus 12, uh, plus 12 plus 24. We're going to upgrade you to a new Ute Butte version, which costs a crap ton of parts, and it's going to bring in 36. I know, crushed. It's an entirely different uh, item, so we actually need to bring a crusher, which needs to take in 36 iron ore and turn it into 36 iron ore crushed. Yay! So I need to have one crusher for every single one of these. At the same time, we need to go from 8 workers to 18 workers, plus another 2 workers and 30 kilowatts. This is going to be very expensive. Uh, so I need that. Plus I need limestone, plus I need coal. A little bit more coal, not a lot. It's going to output twice as much molten iron. It's going to output a little bit more slag. It's also going to output 36 exhaust, which means I can't share smokestacks again. So we're going to remove all the smokestacks. We're going to remove the little pipe because uh, the little pipe won't cut, cut it anymore. And we're going to put that to there for a later jetty problem. Okay. So these are an in situ upgrade, mostly. Uh, copy that one. Put that one there. Copy that one. Flip it. And nope. Uh, yes. And put that one there. Okay. Okay. Then I need to plug in the pipes. Now pipes the belts now if you're upgrading inside uh, I'm, I'm upgrading an existing one okay all you have to do is you have to get an extra material in here conveniently if you run a belt through come on don't be difficult press r so you don't try and connect things bad belt okay you're just gonna do funny business here because you just hate me oh you're going up and then out of the way because of those are no, they raised up heaps. Whatever. Yeah, there's no reason you can't go under that. You, you. Whatever, whatever. And now I just did it. It just went straight. Okay. If you run this belt through here, you can get our belt from here to what height are we at? Like two, one, three. You can get a belt in here. I, I'm not going to play with it now. It, it can be done. I've done it already. Uh, it's it's not fun, but it can be done. In our case, we're actually removing all of this. And I'm removing it for an entirely different reason. And that is, I'm building steel here. I'm going to build iron here. It's going to use the exact same resources to make iron as we do make steel. The only difference is what's on the front. So... I'm going to intentionally tie the two together. So rather than having coal for one of them and then coal for the other one, we're going to have one shared coal for both. Same with the iron ore. We're going to have one shared uh, iron ore for both. So what I want to do is go into belts. Uh, we're going to need a very fast belt to start with. Uh, it's going to make our life easier if we come out five tiles. One, two, three, four, five. And we're going to come this way. This will be our iron ore crushed. Okay. Then we need to bring in coal. Now, coal, I need to ha do 15 times 4. Should be fine with just a normal 60 belt. So, again, going to bring that in there. Next up is our limestone. Limestone is easy. It's just 3. So, again, uh, okay, so many problems with the trucks. All right. Why the trucks? What's your deal? Everything's firing on all cylinders. Nobody's complaining. Okay, that might be a little bit backed up. Uh, is the sour water actually backed up? No. 
No, we haven't even filled the pipe, so it's not that problem. It's just we took too long to get that upgrade. There's, there's diesel right there. Okay, you guys are linked to... Which fuel station? This fuel station. Oh, it's attached to that. Which means somebody's gone driving all the way around here. To fuel these guys at some stage. And it's come all the way back. That's the issue. Alright, it's fine. We'll just add another fuel truck to the mix. Because they're all MIA. Okay. Uh, high supply of sulfur. We just did that. I just need to know when you're full. You're currently full. That's fine. You are going to be emptied. That's fine. Truck cannot reach destination. Because you... Shit. Okay, I didn't see that one coming. Uh, okay, I need... That, that, and that. Uh, and rock, dirt, and copper ore. Rock, dirt, and copper ore. Yeah, copper ore. We'll, 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 we'll explain why when we get to it. Uh, and then tower, one, two, three. Tower one, two, three. Okay. So, uh, quick build you, uh, quick demolish you. All right. So that should fix that problem. Yeah, you guys unstuck. Great. Uh, fertilizer, potato, potato, naphtha, sulfur, collapse, mining destinations outside mining tower areas. Yeah, we know. We don't care about that one. All right. Back to this problem. So, uh, what we're up to? We're up to the third belt. Limestone. Finally, we have slag. I'm moving 18 slag. That is 18, 18, 18, 18. That is more than 60. So, I want another U-shaped belt at height number four. I'm going to be bringing this all the way over here. And I am going to be putting it into a bucket at this end. I might want a bigger bucket. We'll come back to that. So, uh, that's going to be plan number one. Now, plan number two is I want to plug in the belt. So, we're going to go with just normal belt. We don't need anything more flashy than that. We're going to go with belt number one, uh, belt number two, and belt number three. At the same time, the... Uh, no, let's do with the limestone first. Limestone, we're going to put you right here, okay? Uh, we don't need a fast belt for limestone, so I'm going to bring the limestone out and take it up to belt number three. That's our limestone dealt with. Uh, also, our slag, which is the top belt, is going to come... Nope, you need to go away. It's going to come into that storage bucket. Now, like I said, I might want a bigger bucket. Do I have room for a bigger bucket? If I had two more tiles. Probably have two more tiles at this end because you're going to end up going away, but we'll get to you in the future. All right, so then I need to bring my slag out to there, slag out to there, and slag out to there. All right, and then I need to do these three internal belts, which we're just going to copy all of them, connectors included, and go paste. Oh, helps if I hold down shift. Uh, copy, paste, and copy, paste. Okay, great. All right, that's all that done. Now, I still need to get a whole bunch of stuff behind this. Uh, I put this too far back. We need to slide this up to about here. About here, I'm hoping, is enough room. Okay, so then I need to deal with these guys. I'm going to need one of these per one of those. So I want to have a one tile gap, and we're going to go one, two, three, four. On top of that, I'm going to need a bucket for iron ore. As we're planning on fitting this one and also fitting the one for uh, iron smelting, I'm going to be putting in a big bucket. Okay, uh, next. So one little modification I need to make under here. I don't know if I can put this in now. I know it's valid, but there's pillars. <sighs> Alright, we need to remove all those cool and then i'm going to put you a u-shaped balancer here it's not exactly where i want it but close enough okay i need to grab fast belt i need fast belt for the nope fast belt fast belt i need to plug one two that's so not what we're looking for uh, three and four on top of that i need a height two belt to go into here and in here, and in here, and in here. Uh, then I need to line you up roughly where I can get from here 
to the underground level as smoothly as possible, which is that tile, and then plug you on the end. Okay, so this is going to be our iron ore. All the iron ore. All the iron ore in the world. This is going to be our limestone. Uh, a decent amount. This is going to be our slag that we need to get rid of. Uh, so that just leaves our coal being this belt. And that... No, it didn't disappear. It's very hard. We've got a lot of blue. We've got a lot of light blue that we have to deal with. Uh, is the iron whatever. Uh, iron ore crushed. Okay. Iron ore crushed. Iron ore crushed. I also need one more ingredient at this end, which is going to have to go... Uh, let's go here. Uh, let's leave that attached. Uh, I want that. And you are going to be iron scrap. Iron scrap for recycling, okay? Because we can now do this recipe as well. All right, and in fact, I'm going to preference that recipe because we're going to be setting up recycling as part of this like mega series, mega episode. So that's our steel. Great. Uh, Curiosity says that that is 200 normal parts, 450 tier two parts, and 1400 red parts. I don't have 1400 red parts. If we hit the X button a few times, I have 331. Yeah, we're going to have to turn this on in stages, I feel. Okay, uh, so that's the first build done. Second build is iron ore. Iron, oh, iron plate, rather. Uh, again, same thing. I'm just going to grab the whole build because technically there's nothing wrong with it. I could upgrade it in place, but in my case, because I have to rebuild it, we're going to do a bit of an overhaul. Uh, so much of an overhaul. In fact, I'm going to put you right here, and then we're going to get rid of this. We're going to get rid of these storage buckets because we're not going to have them anymore. Uh, and I'm going to get rid of all the belts. Yeah, all the belts. Okay. Okay. So, same story. We need to replace these guys with these guys. Uh, the difference being these are metal casters, and we're going to be replacing a metal caster with a metal caster tier 2, which is actually fairly cheap. I can afford those. They're only tier 2 parts. They do require some steel. We have some steel. But, yeah, they're, they're much cheaper than the construction part 3s. Uh, so, I need to replace all those guys. So, metal caster, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. All right, uh, and they need to go away as well. Uh, we're going to copy those, we're gonna flip those, rotate those, and put those there. Now, I have a new catch. Uh, nope, I have those need to go cut, 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 cut. Okay, I need one of these. Uh, we need to do slag on the left and exhaust on the right. You do fit? You should fit. Oh, I did the pipe stupid on this one. I remember. Yeah, I had serious shortages of room when I built this uh, flip. Okay, you two, that's popping up and down that that is really annoying. Uh, that top. Okay, so same story. I'm going to out be outputting uh, 30. Hang on, let's just copy the recipe. Copy the recipe from there to there. Uh, we're going to be outputting 36 exhaust. So this no longer work. This no longer work okay the other thing we're outputting is we're putting 48 molten iron uh which is 48 and 48 which is 96 that's also another 96 the molten channel moves 120 so i can't feed the whole build on one continuous molten channel so we need to change things up slightly uh we're going to change things up by removing that molten channel and we're going to plug that and into there uh, that into there. Uh, yeah, let's go right. Into there. And then this one will plug an invalid connection. What? An invalid connection. Fine, plug in there then. I don't really care. Alright, we're going to do that. Uh, nope, that's going to block off my exhausts. We're not going to do that. I'm going to go this way. Okay. Yeah, because I still have exhaust pipes we need to deal with. All right. So that's what we're going to have to do. Uh, now, we still need to output here. Uh, I want a big boy box. And we're going to put a big boy box. Okay, we're going to slide the whole build over by two tiles. Uh, probably with that still attached. Uh, nope, it lost all its connections. Okay. 
you go there. You actually no. I'm gonna slide you into this build. Because that makes more sense. And then slide you you actually matter where the back of this build is. Uh that tile. Yes, okay. Uh, I'm gonna run that belt into there. And it turns out I need to redo this molten channel. <sighs> okay, molten channel into there, plus into there, plus into there, and finally into there. Okay, so uh, that's that build done. Now, again, I need to bring in all the materials. So, uh, um, slag's the only thing that doesn't really line up. All right, so we're going to grab belt number one. So this is our iron, uh, iron ore crushed. Okay, belt number two, which if we press the button, is coal so coal is a tier one belt it's a tier one belt and the plan was to feed coal here in the middle yeah i think that might not fly uh, i think we're gonna go with a tier two belt and i'm gonna run that into that belt. okay next up is our limestone uh, correct, yes, okay, and our limestone is facing the wrong way, but that's okay. Uh, can I just get a, yeah, that's T2 belt, uh, T1 belt rather. Uh, I want you at height two, and we're going to plug that into that one. We'll just have to reverse the whole thing later. And then lastly, we have slag, which is at max height, because we like a belt wall, because uh, this is all you know, height three. It means getting something over it is going to be super difficult. All right, so first off, we're going to do slag, okay? Let's just get slag done, get the slag out of the way. It just goes up to the top one. Uh, then I have all these internal belts. We're just going to copy this because it's the exact same combination and paste and paste and paste and paste. Okay, so that's that half built. Now, I still have to get four crushes to run these four machines. So we know the four crushes looks like this, and we know that they need to bring in iron ore from the right because that's where we put the iron ore bucket. Uh, that part goes away. Yep. And they have to output. And again, they have to use a really fast belt because we need to output a lot. Uh, so one, two, three, and four. And then our iron ore, uh, you do 200. Right, and we're using 36, 72, 150. So I can't ride the same belt, but what I can do is I can ride this belt over and disconnect up to there. Okay, so that's gonna be our second belt. Now, this is gonna have output left and output right, but it's gonna have priority in from this guy who's gonna do our iron scrap, all right? So that last thing leaves us is the coal, which we're gonna put a giant bucket here. Because why the hell not? Uh, coal belt was the second belt. Second belt. And uh, up height two. Can it come from this one instead? Maybe it should be coming, it come from it, right? Yeah, height two. Done. All right. So that's excess belt. That's excess belt. No, excess. Uh, excess and excess. Okay. So, that's coal. Uh, let's actually set some filters. Coal, uh, iron scrap, iron ore, limestone, slag, whole build's done. Now, how are we for time? There's a build's not done. It's really not done. And in fact, I can't even build it yet because um, I haven't dealt with exhaust, any of the exhaust. And the exhaust's actually pretty important. We have to deal with the exhaust. And dealing with the exhaust is a two-step process. Uh, one, we need to actually consume the exhaust. Two, after I've consumed the exhaust, I need to do something with the exhaust. Um, all right, so we are doing research. This is all research. This is all research we haven't dealt with, okay? There is one here called exhaust filtration. It gave us two new machines. Two new machines we need to talk about. Uh, I don't know how whether we'll get through this in this episode. It could be a two-parter. Probably going to be a two-parter. That gave us an exhaust scrubber. Okay, and it also gave us a gas injection pump. All right, uh, an exhaust scrubber. 
filters 75% of pollutants from hot exhaust gases by extracting useful resources. So we put in 180 exhaust plus 24 water, we get out 6 sulfur, 72 carbon dioxide, and 24 steam. And that creates 24 pollution. It's not too bad. Uh, the other one is the gas ejection pump which uh, provides permanent disposable gases such as carbon dioxide by dissolving them in liquid and injecting them under pressure into the ground. Has no pollution effect. Can only be built on top of a limestone, limestone deposit, which we conveniently have one right here. Right here we have a limestone deposit. It's not that far from where we're building. So we could run it over here. And for every one of these, they output 72 carbon dioxide. This consumes 72 carbon dioxide. It's like it was written. It's like it's, it's it's designed that way. There's one catch. You do 180 carbon dioxide. Uh, you guys output 36. Uh, five lots of 36 is 180. Uh, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. To make matters worse, I also have nine, 10, 11, and 12. Five to one of these machines. So it actually means that I need one, two, three of these machines, which already means that I can tell you I need to slide the whole build to the right because I want to fit these in. So we're going to pick up everything. I hope nothing goes wrong. And I'm happy with the distance from the copper pipe. And I'm going to guess there. Okay. All right. So one, two, three. Okay, so we have a couple of things we have to deal with. We have to deal with carbon dioxide, plus we have to deal with the steam, plus we have to get it water. Okay, one at a time. Uh, exhaust. Uh, no, let's talk with 180, uh, 180 exhaust. Actually, let's start with that. Uh, one of these. Smokestack. We're all familiar with good old smokestack. Uh, if we turn off some recipes, we can see that dealing with 60 exhaust gives us 30 pollution. 180 is 3 times 60. Okay, uh, so we would get 3 times 30, which is 90 pollution. Okay, so we'd have 90 pollution normally. We're going to have just 24, but we also have 72 carbon dioxide I need to deal with. 72 carbon dioxide is a little bit more than 60. So we're going to go with about 18. Okay, so we're going to get 18 pollution plus 24 pollution rather than 90. So in our case, we're only going to cut it in about half. It's not going to be 25%. It's going to be about 50%, but 50% is still pretty good. So I need to put in a smokestack. Now, smokestack is going to be very, very awkward to get here because I have two of these very, very close to one another. On top of that, you only exhaust 60, whereas your big brother output, uh, 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 does um, 600. So we need one of these guys. Uh, and you, unfortunately, you're just getting a little one because we're not running you at full speed. Uh, also means I need a pipe between there and there. So we're going to get these guys to slide over time. We're gonna, oop, we're going to leave you right where you were, roughly. Uh, I'm going to get you to move over tile, and I need to put in a silly pipe. So we're going to have you come out of tile, and then we're going to connect like that. And I'm going to take this, and I'm going to shove it in there, and then I'm going to remove that, and I'm going to remove that, and then I'm going to take those two machines and shove them back in there. Cool. Now I need to do the same with the uh, sulfur. There we go. That's the words I'm looking for. So I need a U-shaped connector to come down and to the right and down to the right. And then I need to cut that and we need to connect that there. And then I need to delete the bit of belt that I don't need right now. We'll work out where that goes later, but for right now, it's just going to go away. Okay. Oh, and let's just put a bit of belt in here so I don't forget it. Yeah, all right, so that's those two problems. Uh, next up, we need to talk about how we're going to get water in here and how we're going to get steam out. Uh, for right now, I'm going to grab one of these and we're going to put you right here, okay? You're going to be our water. Now, I need to do a few things with the water. I also need to do a few things with the exhaust. Um, let's deal with the exhaust, okay? So the exhaust, you do 180 and you do 180, okay? 180 is five of these machines. Or two lots of 180 is 10 of these machines. I have one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm going to grab the exhaust off 10 of these machines and bring it over here in a single very large pipe. Uh, and we're going to do that by connecting that one to that one, plus connecting that one to that one. Then we're going to connect this up to height number two. Nope. We get a big pipe. Start you actually no. Use a level two pipe. 
And oh. It's the slag dots. Okay, the slag dot needs to go away. And go away. It's because I used half the old blueprint. Belts today. Belts today. Okay, now we're going to get a pipe. I'm going to bring you out. Height one. No, I was right the first time. Height two. Height two, bring you through to here. Stop there. All right, you need to go away. Uh, you. Need to go away. You need to go away. And you ah uh, need to go away. Okay, that could have been dangerous. Alright, uh wait, wait. I just need a normal T1 belt to go to the top. Plus to the top. Plus 18 and 18. No, that's fine. Uh to the top and also to the input. Okay, uh, pipe. So uh, I need to grab a T2 pipe. We need to go T2 to T2. Then I need to remove that because now I have two T2s joined together and we need to go T3. And we're going to just bunny hop that right the way through the middle till we get to here. At which point I'm going to bring it over the top. Nope. You do not understand over the top, do you? your acting pipe is over the top all right stop it to the, over the top then i'm going to grab a pipe two and any of these ports is a good port uh i want to plug that into there and that into there okay so then i can remove the big bulky pipe off the list and we're all done okay so that gets the exhaust from these four and then these two uh need your exhaust to come out there and nope oh, uh, i need to remove that and then we need you to come come on don't be stubborn i know you want to connect i've seen you connect cancel Uh, no, height one. Is that what I have to do? That's what I have to do to to connect. Uh, okay. So, I... Let's cancel that. <sighs> Level two pipe, height one, round to here, into the main trunk line, and then itty bitty pipe from there, into there, from there, into there, and then we cancel that. Okay. So, that is the exhaust from ten machines hooked into two of these machines. Okay. Uh, sulfur we haven't got to, and the last two machines. All right, last two machines, let's just deal with those really quickly. Uh, I need to run the pipe through here. Okay, so a level two pipe, uh, into there, under here. Yeah, you get to do all sorts of funny business because, well, we're, we're sort of past the point of, uh, having free room, and you'll get to plug it into there. Okay, so then all I have to do is come over to here, and I need to get... I think it's off by top. Yeah, it's off by top. Above that. I don't even care about that wiggle in the corner. Uh, there, and there, and then remove that. Okay, so that means the last one, the last one's going to run at like two-fifths normal speed. Okay, so all these numbers divide by five, multiply by two. Great. All right, so that gets us to here. Now, I have 24 steam load that we need to deal with, uh, which we need to do something with. My options are plentiful, but for right now, we're going to talk about thermal desalination. Thermal desalination has a recipe here that if I take in 12 low pressure steam, uh, which 12 is, you know, half of 24, we get out 24 water. You conveniently need 24 water to run. And I, if I have two of these, I get a bonus 24 water. If I get a bonus 24 water, I can make you run. If you are now not doing anything with all your steam, I could put in two of these and I can get a bonus 48 water. Because, you know, 24 twice. Uh, 24 twice means that 
this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy, their water's covered. Okay, and then, my little guy, my little guy on the end, if he gets out, blah, 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 if he puts something in, he's going to get something out, that's something uh, in and out, should give us just enough water to run another one of these guys. So we're going to convert the whole lot into uh, water, free water, uh, using our exhaust. So I need to work out exactly how we're going to do these. Uh, you need to go boop, that way. Uh, we need you to go that way as well. And then pipe mark two, three tiles out. Uh, to, uh, is that? No, it's not three tiles. I need one more tile out. Come on. We're running on a clock. Pipe one, pipe two, pipe three, pipe four, uh, pipe five. Okay, so that's stage one up, number one. Stage number two is cut the whole thing, bring it nice and close, get it cuddly right there. And we're good to go. Next is little pipes, because we're only dealing with 24. Damn. <sighs> Run that one tile past and then plug it in. And... Yes, and then you're out of my way. Okay, little pipe, because it's only a little bit of steam. No, off there, into there, and off there, into there. Okay, uh, same with you, off there, into there, and off there, into there, and you are a direct connection. Okay, so at the other end, uh, we have two uh, two outputs we're going to have to deal with. One is water, one is brine. Water, we're going to intentionally keep flat, and I need to have a pipe balancer. No, I don't need a pipe balancer here. Uh, so we're going to come out three tiles, and then bring it this way. And I just need to plug each one of these into that master trunk line. Cancel. Uh, plug that into there and plug that in there. Then I have to do the same with Brian. Brian, we're going to bring up one tile over the top and I'm going to run it in the exact same direction. Okay. So up to top pipe, up to the top pipe, up to the top pipe, and up to top pipe. Now, to get this whole system run, I need seawater. Um, found some seawater. I uh, also found you, which we're going to have to move. I guarantee it. Uh, I need pumps, 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 pumps. I need a seawater pump. And you didn't complain. Oh, collision with shipyard. You're happy there. All right, we're going to put you right there. Uh, right beside that, we're going to put a liquid dump. Uh, we've got nine brine, I think it is. Nine brine multiplied by whatever the numbers are actually means I should have a skinny pipe. Nine times five. Yeah, yeah. I I, I should have a skinny pipe. Uh, okay. Uh, so this is seawater in. And again, we're using 21 seawater. 21 times five is 200. So we're going to... Is a 200 pipe? So we're going to bring you... Uh into here somehow now one thing i do want to do different uh is we're going to be using a lot more uh vehicle bridges <sighs> buildings for trucks which i'm going to be doing a lot more of these i'm not going to be running pipes up and down or belts up and down so we can get things over and above them we're going to be using a lot more vehicle bridges uh can i run that pipe underneath first and then I'll run that pipe into there. And then the brine pipe, we will bring two here, two here, and down. And you're just going to come around the corner and plug in there. There. All right. Last thing I need to do is we're going to put in a storage. Yes, I want a fluid storage. Uh, doesn't have to be anything special. I just need to have a fluid storage somewhere. Let's go with here uh i need pipes i need a pipe balancer i need a pipe balancer in there we need to bring this here to uh uh yeah here to here to input to input to input to machine one to machine two to machine three on top of that, I need to get water into this pipe. 
Yay! So after it's come through the balancer, that's going to be important. Uh, through the balancer, through the tank, yeah, through the balancer and through the tank. I, I, I know you can't join to a ramp. I don't want you to join to a ramp just yet. What? It's a flat farm. Yeah, we're good. Now I want you to go up one. Yeah. Now I want you to go up two. Yeah. Okay, good. And press the R button so you don't try and attach to anything. Because you need to come right the way back over the brine pipe. Uh, actually, we can probably shrink this in a few tiles. Uh, past the iron smelter. Okay, past the iron smelter and down a tile. Uh, actually, you can go straight over the molten channel. Yep. And then into here. And you probably didn't need to do a, a, a big pipe. But it's okay. Uh, I'm going to remove that. And I'm going to plug that into that water. All right. No idea if the water pipe's going in the right direction from here. We'll find out when we build it. Okay. So that's our water. That's our exhaust. Uh, the only thing I haven't dealt with is the sulfur, which I'm really hoping I can get in here. Uh, can I get a U-shaped connector? We need you to come out. I don't care how you get out. You just need to get out. Okay, up to height two. Up to height two. Up, no, you won't go to height three. Really? U shape. There. Height two. This direction. Great. Over to here. Down the ground level. Pipe. There to there. Cool. Uh, storage. Storage, storage, storage. We want a loose storage too. And you're going to go there. And then all I need to do is... Nope. I need to move you forward one tile. And trim that back. So you can come down and go in there. Because you also need to jump over... Actually, just plug straight into there and we'll call it a day. All right. So you, sir, are going to be a sulfur tank. Uh, you're going to be water. We're going to prioritize in from that. And that will be our backup. It means you go away. And you go away. And does that mean I can put a loose storage to here? Probably. Probably. Uh, but that could be a future upgrade. Just because this is going to cost a shit ton of parts to start with. But. It also means that we are completely out of time. It's a mega episode with a mega build. But that is iron. That is steel. That is one giant build. And I have 500 parts. 500 parts. Uh, that's not nearly enough. Uh, so we're going to come here. I have one machine. One machine working diligently at it. So we're going to double the speed of that. And I'm going to leave this episode here. I'll see you guys in the next episode where... Hopefully we have a lot more parts. Hopefully we can start building this. At the same time, I still need to upgrade copper and I need to upgrade glass. And we need to handle recycling because this is part of the mega episode. Mega episode with mega build. Anyway, that's it. I'm out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the very next episode. All right. Bye.